So far, my videos have focused on SharePoint and the Office products. But that's not all there is to Microsoft Business Intelligence. I've not really talked about SQL yet. SQL Server and its associated services make up the other half of Microsoft's BI stack. I've shown how to create dashboards and visualizations using Performance Point services, but there is another way to build visualizations of your data. You can use SQL Server Report Builder. There is some overlap between what you can do in Report Builder and what you can do in Dashboard Designer. In general, you're more likely to use Report Builder for scenarios where you know that what you want to see visualised will be the same every time the report is run, whereas you'd use Dashboard Designer where you want to give people control over the data that's displayed. Report Builder would also be the most appropriate for printed reports or if you want to use gauges. Dashboard Designer really shines around scorecards and reusable KPIs. Report Builder 3.0 is available as a free download from Microsoft's download site. It doesn't require SQL Server to be installed for Report Builder to install, so you can put this on your normal computer but have the SQL Server running on a different machine. A lot of work has been done to Report Builder to make it more user-friendly and easier to build powerful reports. When I first open the program, I get this wizard to create a new report or data set. The reports come in three types, table, chart or map. I'll start with this table option. First I get asked where my data is. I haven't got any data sets initially, so I'll have to go for the create option. Again, I don't have any published data sources to begin with, so I'll choose New. There are lots of different data types I can use, not just SQL. I could connect to SQL Azure if I want to run reports based on the cloud, or I can connect to SharePoint, or to Oracle, or other Microsoft and non-Microsoft data types. For now, I'll stick with SQL. I have to build my connection. First I need to choose the server and then the database. I'll go for this Contoso retail database. In the next screen of the wizard I see all the tables that are available to me in this database. I need to choose which of them I'm interested in for this report. I'll choose the sales and the sales quota tables, as well as the product and date dimensions. Now I need to choose rows, columns and values. In some ways this is similar to creating a pivot table in Excel. You can choose from the items selected in the previous screen which you want to display in this table. You do this by dragging items from the list into the appropriate sections. I'll choose to have sales quantity as a value, as well as sales quantity quota. I'll add calendar year as a column. and my product name as a row. I may also want to group my products by manufacturers, so I can add that to the row groups above product name. Next I get to pick my layout, and here I see a format of how my table will look. I can change it to a different style, and then click finish. I now see my report with my table created.